The recommended service inspections described here are based on approved service intervals and levels of related service being performed. If inspection indicates that additional servicing is required, refer to the Bendix ADB22X service data sheet for details. You'll find direct links to relevant sections of the service data sheet in this instructional module. Many service procedures are also demonstrated in other modules on this training tool. Although servicing is similar on all vehicle axles, be aware that brake accessibility will vary according to the application. When servicing a vehicle, always follow your shop's safety procedures, especially when it comes to securing, lifting, and supporting the vehicle. Regular inspection of a vehicle's air disc brakes is part of normal operating shop procedure and vehicle maintenance. Since the Bendix ADB-22X air disc brake is a floating caliper design, one of the most important inspections is to check that the caliper moves easily on the guide pins. This should be checked every time you work under the vehicle. To check for ease of movement, push and pull the caliper fully outward and inward. The movement should be slight but noticeable. You may also hear a clunk as the caliper moves and the disc pads contact the rotor. Next, verify that the adjuster cap and the guide pin covers are all securely in place. Another regular inspection of a vehicle's air disc brakes is to check the running clearance. This is done by pushing the caliper assembly inward while holding the inboard pad toward the rotor and checking the running clearance between the inner pad back plate and each tappet. The clearance should be within 24 and 43 thousandths of an inch. If it is not within these limits, your next step is to confirm whether the adjuster mechanism is functioning properly. If this inspection is required, first remove the inner brake pad assembly. For details on this procedure, refer to the brake pad module on this CD. Then remove the adjuster cap to expose the shear adapter and attach a 10 millimeter boxed end wrench to the shear adapter. The wrench must have the clearance to turn freely, at least 180 degrees, in a normal tightening fashion. Now apply the brake twice at approximately 30 PSI and check to make sure the wrench rotates clockwise and then stops with each brake application. If it does not, then the caliper assembly must be replaced. The next inspection is to visually inspect the inner and outer brake pads for excessive wear. Check to see if either pad appears to be approaching the minimum lining thickness of 79 thousandths of an inch, approximately the thickness of a nickel, anywhere along its length. If that appears to be the case, an actual measurement of the pad's total thickness is required. Measure to make sure that each pad's total thickness, including the back plate, is not less than 433 thousandths of an inch. If either pad is less, then all brake pads on the axle should be replaced. As you inspect the brake pads, you may see minor damage at the edge of the pad material. This does not call for pad replacement as long as there is no major damage to the pad surface and pad thickness measurements are within the acceptable limits just noted. Next, measure the rotor thickness and inspect the rotor surface. Minimum rotor thickness is 1.457 inches and should be measured at several points. Check the rotor for signs of wear, damage and heat cracks. Small heat cracks like these are allowable. However, a split in a disc is not acceptable and the disc must be replaced immediately. For details on the procedure, refer to your vehicle service guide. The last service check covered in this module is to visually inspect the external seals for damage. These include parts like the adjuster cap, the seals on the large fixed and short floating guide pins, and the tappet boots. 
If any inspections result in a need for replacement parts, referring to the brake assembly part number label will help you identify the proper service kit. For optimum performance and service life, always use genuine approved service replacement parts on Bendix air disc brakes.